In this video, we're getting wedding day ready. So, it is wedding season. It's that time of year and we all need help figuring out what we're gonna wear. Brides need their gowns, bridesmaids and wedding guests, they all need outfit ideas. So that's what this video is gonna help you out with. My name is Ashley Park. If you're new here, welcome to Park Avenue where I have tons of fashion content, outfit ideas, unboxings, lifestyle content. I've got something for you. Be sure and check out my other videos. And when you find something you like, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I don't want you to miss any of my uploads. I am so excited to say that this video is sponsored by Lulu's and I could not think of a more perfect partner for a video like this. I get requests all the time asking for or outfit ideas for weddings, you know, wedding dress ideas and things like that. So this is gonna help a lot. Lulu's has a great selection of bridal gowns and they've got you covered on your bridesmaids dresses as well. And of course, wedding guest dresses. They have a huge selection and they have a really great selection of everything else you're gonna need throughout the year as well. Their clothes are really cute. But in this video, we're talking all about weddings and the gowns are gorgeous. They're really affordable. And if you're a bride who wants to wear a dress to the wedding, a specific gown, and then you wanna change into something else for the reception, you can easily do that with Lulu's. And the sizing options are great. The different styles are great as well. And they offer free US shipping on all orders over 50 bucks. So I'm pretty sure you're going to qualify for free shipping because by the time you pick out your dress, your shoes, and if you need bridesmaids gowns and you know a lot of options, then you're gonna guarantee yourself free shipping. And I also love the accessory options that they have. They really do have the cutest pieces, you guys. I fell in love with the accessories that I chose. I'm wearing these earrings here. They're perfect. And what I like about these is I can wear them for special occasions, but you guys know I don't save anything for special occasions. So these are something I would totally wear like during the day, just like a t-shirt and jeans. I love these so much. And then I also picked up a pair of these chandelier style earrings. These are gorgeous for a bride, a bridesmaid, or a wedding guest. I think they pair perfectly with the dresses that I'm gonna show you guys today. And I do wanna talk about a couple of other accessories because you guys know I'm an accessories girl. And if you ask me, a very simple gown can be transformed with a really great set of accessories. Not only did I get really great jewelry, I also picked up these gorgeous bags. So starting with this one, it's pearl encrusted. I mean, I'm pearl obsessed, so it doesn't get any better than this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and it goes with so many things and you can fit a lot in here. So this of course could be perfect for a bride. You can put your lip gloss, you know, your cards or whatever you might need, <laughs> but this is also perfect for wedding guests. And that's what I like about a lot of the dresses that are available on Lulu's. I find that I can wear them for a lot of occasions. So if I do get them for an event, there's no problem in me also wearing it for other occasions and other events in the future. I like the fact that you can definitely change things up um, with the accessories. So you don't have to be like just pigeon held to only wearing this one dress this one time. You can definitely wear it for other occasions as well. And here's the other purse that I picked up. How beautiful is this? I mean, I just, I love it so much. I think this is, it looks like artwork. It's gorgeous. I love the way it shines and sparkles. I mean, I don't even have to say much about this one. This is so cute. I love this. And this is something else that you can wear for multiple occasions as well. But can you imagine? Oh, so good. I love this. And both of these bags come with chains so you can hold them by the chains or hold them more like a clutch if you wanted to. And it's nice to have those options. Next up, I picked up these really great shoes. I am pearl obsessed, you guys already know that, so I was really happy to be able to get a few pieces that had pearl detail. I think that they are just a, just a beautiful accessory for any bride, but of course they could carry over to the bridesmaids. And if you're looking for something to wear as a wedding guest, this is totally appropriate. I love the fact that these shoes also tie back to uh, these earrings that have the pearl detail. And then of course the bag that I showed you guys, this pearl bag. So I love that and it's not too much and it just it's just a perfect compliment, super feminine and I think it's gorgeous. And like I said, this shoe is just super flattering. It has a squared off toe that has like rounded edges but it's not too exaggerated. So it is really timeless and it's a mule style. You just slip your foot into it and you're good to go. Here are the next pair of shoes I wanna show you guys. I picked up this pair as well. I really love how strappy they are. 
I love that you can tie the straps around your ankle. And then I love the color. I love gold and they're like a champagne iridescent gold. Really nice. They're still fabric material, but not exactly the same as the satin shoes that I showed you. They're more of like an iridescent. They're really beautiful. And this shade is gonna flatter so many skin tones. They're gonna look so good. The style overall is classic. Again, I really love classic clean lines for um, you know weddings just in general, no matter if you're a bride, a bridesmaid, or a wedding guest. Classic clean lines look so good. So this is a really great pair of shoes to go with. And you just see the detail in the back. Can you see the gold, the way the light bounces off of it? That's really nice. Can you imagine? Especially like in, a, in the evening, if you're wearing a shoe like this, the way the light is going to bounce off of it. Ugh, gorgeous. All the dresses that I picked out from Lulu's are super figure flattering. They're like pretty much made for curvy girls. I love the silhouettes. The slip style dress is long. It has a really long train. And let me tell you, it's definitely tall girl friendly. So if that's a concern for you, then there's no concern here because all the Lulu's dresses that are full length that I have tried are really long. And if you do need to get them tailored, I don't really think it's a big deal because the price points are so great. And it's really nice to be able to have that customization. So if you're really tall, you might wanna take a couple inches off, but uh, the heels do compensate for that. But if you worry about being tall and wearing heels that your dress is gonna come up a little short, you really have nothing to worry about with these dresses. I love that the, the cream colored dress had a really nice train, not too long, but it had just the right amount of drama. It was giving like a Hollywood vibe, I love that. And then of course, you can't go wrong with black. So I picked out a couple of black dresses. I love a really great like party style, cocktail style dress with the ruching. How flattering is the ruching? The one shoulder detail. It's just super figure flattering. And the it's double lined. So the lining underneath really sucks you in and sculpts you. It is a really great dress. I love the quality of the material and the fabric was nice and thick. And then the longer gown that I tried on in black, the one that I'm wearing right now, I love this shoulder detail, you guys. Can you imagine? It would also look really great with my hair up or pulled back away from my face. And I just love this detail so much. It's what did it for me. But the entire silhouette, again, is just giving that like, Hollywood glam, but there are so many styles to pick from on the Lulu's website. So be sure and check the description box because I will have links to everything that I showed you guys today, uh, along with the sizes that I chose, but you cannot go wrong with these pieces. And like I said before, you can wear these for future events as well. It doesn't have to only be weddings, but because it is wedding season, I know so many of you guys are looking for ideas on what to wear. So make sure you guys check the description box because I'll have links to everything that I'm showing you today. And as far as what I'm gonna wear, I'm really torn between two dresses. I really love the shorter length black dress with the one shoulder, but then I also really love the dress that I'm wearing right now because of this shoulder detail is just so good. And one of my friends is actually having a state tie reception. So if you guys watch my vlogs, then you might remember that I went bachelorette dress shopping with one of my friends. And then uh, in another vlog, I went to her bridal shower. And so I took you guys along with me and we you know, did some shopping for that. But now she is having her reception in the States. She had her wedding abroad and I couldn't make it. So I'm excited to be able to attend the reception. And so I'm looking for something to wear and I'm thinking it's gonna either be the one shoulder ruched um, side dress or this dress that I'm wearing right now because I really love this shoulder detail. I think it's a lot of fun and it would look really great with my hair pulled back or even like a braided hairstyle, something really pulled back off my face and simple. I think that's what I would do if I went with this outfit. And I just really love the fit of it. They both were good. The fits were perfect on both of them. So that's really why I'm struggling. And even with my makeup, I haven't decided what makeup look I'm gonna go with. I'm thinking something like this. I really love just like a slight smoky eye. It is an evening reception. So I think I wanna play up my eyes more than my lips just because I'm gonna be drinking champagne. I'm gonna be eating and talking. And I think I wanna go with more of a deeper eye and a lighter lip. But what do you guys think? Are you into like more of a bolder lip and a lighter eye? Or maybe I should do something like even with eyes and lips. I don't know, what are you guys thinking? Let me know in the comments. But let me just show you guys how I came up with this look because this is what I was kind of thinking I would do. 
I took my pin curls out and I really love the way my hair looks right now, actually. At first, I wasn't feeling it, but I think it looks really good. And as it kind of relaxes, it's just gonna get better. And um, usually when I take my pin curls out, I just have to fluff it up a little bit, but I really like it. It's kind of like a 40s glam. And this is kind of like how I wear my hair usually anyway, like a deep side part and some pink curls. I really like this. And I definitely love a glam style. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start my makeup, but I'm gonna push my hair out of the way. And then I'm gonna start off, typically my makeup, what I've been doing lately is like really natural looks and that's what I'm into. But what I wanna get better at is becoming like, you know, just more polished, like high glam, but still very natural. That's what I've been into lately. So that's what I would go for. Even like as a bride, that's what I would go for as a wedding guest. And I like to go like a little bit heavier, like on the eye makeup and of course lashes. And I haven't worn lashes in a long time, but lately I have been wearing my lashes almost every day. So I'm gonna start off with my concealer and let it dry down a little bit. And of course my skin was already prepped, I already did um, my moisturizer and everything like that. I exfoliated a little bit as well, just cause I felt like my skin was kinda dry lately. My skin has been a little bit dry. I haven't been drinking enough water which I'm working on now. But I'm gonna let my concealer dry down a little bit um, and then play around. I think today I'm just gonna go a little bit heavier on the eyes and then keep everything else a little bit more like neutral and nude, but we'll see. Sometimes I get a little carried away once I start doing my makeup, especially for an event. And that's what's so nerve wracking about events. It's like, you will do something over and over again and then you'll go to sit down and do it for an event. You're like, oh, let me try this, let me add this, let me do that. And next thing you know, you get a whole different look. So even if you are, you know, like any event you're going to, sometimes it's cool to just practice a look before time so that way you can just like stick to the script. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna let that dry down. And usually when that dries down, I usually work on my eyebrows, but I have been really loving powder foundation. And I really like the way it looks on camera. I like the way it looks in person. I don't find that it settles into like my fine lines. Like I have smile lines and I find with my powder foundation, it just does a good job of holding up. a little bit longer than liquid does for me. And it gives me more like a skin-like look. And I really like that. After a couple minutes, I let it dry down and then I just go in with uh, my favorite concealer brush and then I pat it out. And when I'm going with a brighter eye, I love to really, um, when I'm going with a darker eye, like something smoky, I really love to just go in and brighten up my under eye. Sometimes a little bit more than I would typically. But, um, you know, because I'm gonna have some darkness, I want it to be nice and bright under there. So sometimes I'll go in with like another layer of concealer, but we'll see. I just go as I, like I just see as I go and then play with it like that. That looks pretty good, nice and bright. And then I'll go in with my foundation brush and just like blend out some of the edges. But when I know I have an event coming up, not only do I need to think about my outfit, I have to think about my hair. And you guys know, sometimes it can be really nerve wracking to find like a hairstyle that you love, especially for a wedding, because you want everything to be really perfect. But I don't like to put too much emphasis on anything because then I feel like, you know, it doesn't always turn out exactly like what I have in my mind. So I just want to keep an open mind and keep it fun. And like literally try on everything beforehand. When I know I have an event coming up, I try on everything down to the shoes, accessories, like the entire outfit. And then, um, you know, sometimes I'll go with the flow as far as my hair goes, because as long as I can do my pin curls, I know that my hair's gonna be okay. But sometimes you wanna experiment, like, like for a bride, I love the idea of like large buns. I love really oversized, elegant buns, whether they're like low or high up. I just think having your hair pull back off your face, really slick, and then a really nice, like large intricate bun is just so beautiful. And your face is just glowing. It just looks really nice. 
for as far as a bride goes. I know some brides like to have their hair out and I think that looks great as well. Obviously you have to go with what fits you. But as far as a bridal look, I think it looks so good when brides have their hair up off of their faces and you just see them. It just really shows off your features and if you have a nice, like really nice glam, natural, neutral kind of a makeup, it just looks beautiful. And also, Sometimes when you're getting married, like in those really, really warm, like humid climates, having your hair up and off your face, it really makes a huge difference. So you're not sweating and hot and uncomfortable because just the ceremony alone, especially if you have an outdoor wedding, I mean, you get really hot. <laughs> and as a wedding guest, I like to keep it natural, like with my hair and everything like that. Like this is a style that I would wear. But also if it's like humid or if I just want to try something else, I might do a smaller, more like understated kind of a bun, something low, or even a nice um, high bun, up, you know, up high, but not as intricate or as large as I would like for a bridal hairstyle, you know, something a little bit more understated. And maybe even like cornrows, you know, when you do like maybe like six straight back cornrows into a low bun, that looks so good. And then you just, again, play it up with your makeup, your clothes and accessories. I love that look as well. But overall, the look for the bride and if you're a wedding guest, I just feel like it should just be a natural you look, but just enhanced, you know? Like a no makeup makeup kind of a thing and just really accentuate like what you already have going on. Play up your best features. Now, usually if I was wearing a liquid foundation, I would go in with, um, I would do my eyebrows after concealer or before concealer, right after I did my liquid foundation. But because I've been wearing powders lately, I like to do my concealer, let it dry down, and then I go in with my powder foundation to set it. And then I'll do my eyebrows. And I just pick up a bunch of powder foundation on my sponge. I hit pan, you guys, and I never hit pan. I really love this. I'm gonna pick up another palette probably sometime this week. I'm gonna put this all over my face, but I always start under my eyes first, just so I can like cut out the creasing. And after I set everything under my eye, then I just go in with my powder foundation all over my face. These days I'm really not so concerned with covering up every single blemish, uh, but I do want to have a really nice, you know, smooth, clear, even complexion. So if I need to go in and like spot conceal, I'll just use like a little bit um, of whatever concealer that I have and then I'll just go in over like certain areas and then like blend it out with my sponge. But I think this looks good. And then I go in with the lighter powder under my eyes and kind of like bake with it a little bit just to keep a little bit brighter. Since my foundation that I used to set my concealer is the same color as my skin tone, I want it to be just like a little bit brighter. And then I also set my smile lines just because my makeup tends to settle and um, emphasize them in that area. So I just put a little bit of setting powder there as well to keep it bright around my mouth. And then I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Now me and eyebrows, we got a very love-hate relationship. When my eyebrows are freshly done, I find it just easier to do my eyebrows, but once they're not freshly done, I struggle with them because sometimes they look so different that, I mean, I notice it and it just really bugs me. So I just recommend for whatever event you have coming up, just try to get your eyebrows done freshly. It'll just be easier that way. You're not struggling trying to create a brow unless you're just so good at brows that it, it doesn't matter. But me, I like to pretty much just fill in where I need to fill in. I don't really like having to create a shape.
So here's the finished look, you guys. My camera actually cut off while I was recording my makeup, so I didn't get a chance to get step by step. But what I went for was just a really easy glam. I have been really liking more natural looks, easy makeup looks that are still really polished and impactful, you know what I mean? I love that. I really liked like a nice clean skin look. So that's what I was going for. And I've been wearing eyelashes a lot more lately, false eyelashes, and I've been skipping my mascara. There's still a place for my mascara. I still love it very much. And when I wanna like amp up the lashes even more, I do wear my mascara, but it's definitely made a difference in my looks. I used to wear lashes all the time and then I kind of stopped, but now I'm back again and I go for like the Demi Wispies. So they're shorter toward the inner corner and then they get a little bit longer toward the end. You can cut them in half and just wear the ends if you want even more of a natural glam. But this look to me is giving like 50s pinup style. I really love it. And I'm debating whether I wanna go even heavier on the eyes and keep the lips nude, or do I wanna go with a bolder lip and a little bit lighter on the eyes? You know, and maybe just like a winged eyeliner and the false lashes and just give a, like a simple clean look in that way. Let me know in the comments which is like kind of your fave for events because I'm debating, but I do love or like a fresh clean skin kind of a look. I really like this look a lot. It's comfortable to wear. I don't have to really worry about it. And because I like to drink champagne, I am gonna have a couple of drinks and I don't wanna be worried about like a bold lip. So I'm probably gonna do something more similar to this, maybe just slightly more dramatic on the eyes. What do you guys think? But I love this and it's for hairstyles. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna go with. Like, I love my hair like this. This is like a typical look for me. But I also really love, um, you know, like my hair pulled back. For a bride, I love, love a really large, like oversized bun, whether it's more toward the top or like a low, really oversized, like intricate bun. I think those are so beautiful. Oh my goodness, love those hairstyles so much for a bride, but more so for a guest, I really love maybe something a little bit more understated, hair pull back in a sleek low bun, something more minimal, and then even hair pulled up in a bun, but more minimal. I like the oversized buns, more intricate styles to be for the bride, and then for the wedding guest, something simple and clean, or you know, my pen curls like this, I love that. So I'm debating, and then I also love a simple cornrow style, like six cornrows going straight back into a low bun, or um, you know, or just like a slick bun without the cornrows. I love that. Or if I'm gonna, maybe I'll do like my knotless braids because you guys know I've been missing my knotless braids. I'm thinking something like that. And then I would do like a high bun on top and a nice bold earring. That is also a look. So I love when I do like braided styles and I can play around with like that or I can do just wear like my natural hair out. Or like maybe like a high ponytail. That's another great look as well. I love that. A high, simple, like curled ponytail. Really good. So overall, I just really love a like simple, clean look. If I'm repeating myself, that's why. I really love that. And then the drama could come with, you know, small little details like your makeup and, you know, like your accessories and things like that. But I love this look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And let me know which one is, which style is your fave. Do you love like a simple low bun for a wedding guest? Are you into like big curly hair, ponytails? What's the styles you guys love? I wanna know in the comments. But this is the finished look. So that is it, you guys. This is the look that I'm thinking I'm gonna wear to my friend's reception, but maybe with a different hairstyle, you know, with my hair like pulled back, a braided style, you know, I'm still deciding. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know, like, are you guys having like spring weddings or summer weddings? Are you gonna be a wedding guest anytime soon? I would love to know. Let's talk about it in the comments. And a huge thanks to Lulu's for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check the description box because I will have links to everything that I showed you guys along with size information listed there. And Lulu's is gonna have a great selection for you guys. I mean, the price point is great and the selection is really great. So you're definitely going to find something that you need. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? I really would love to have you. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys in the next one.